my throat out a bit, but hey everybody, it's Gus here from uh, Average Everyday Gaming, about to start streaming uh, inside. So this is, this is a game that I originally played when it came out on Xbox One, and, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. We have this young boy, uh, right now walking seemingly through the woods. It's a beautiful game, beautiful art style. So I see there's a there's a log here. Obviously this boy can't push it. It's not strong enough. Even if he were a man, he wouldn't be strong enough. So we're gonna have to jump over it. Just look at the animation, it's it's beautiful. Very dull colors. The red the red shirt being the only thing that stands out at this point. So we're playing on PS4. I originally bought it on Xbox One. Um, and I decided to double dip on PS4. That's how much I liked it. Now we can see that we have these folks. What could they be? They're in this truck and they're about to be whisked away. Huh. We see someone out in the far distance. Uh, those those folks are gone, going somewhere. It's very eerie, the atmosphere, the colors. It makes me think of Netflix uh, Dark, that German sci-fi show, which was awesome, by the way. All right, so the boys contextually hiding, so these are bad folks, and these guys are wearing some sort of masks. It looks like, uh, for anybody who's into Batman, it looks like Scott Snyder, Court of the Owls type masks. Now we're gonna run. They haven't noticed me. See what looks like a fridge. Pull the fridge. Oh, there it is. So we're gonna use this fridge. It's kind of cool. The fridge just happened to be there, right? But we'll suspend this belief for a minute. Well, that's quite a jump. All right, so. We're good. Okay. What's this? Can I drag this? I may have to drag it. I don't know. There's dogs. Physics. Look at that. Momentum brought it down by itself. I don't quite know what that is. There's film in there. Now we're sliding down. Oh. It looks like to be a river. Oh, oh, that dog is not playing around. Oh, man. Oh, man. Just barely made it. Wow, that was real close. That mutt looks starved. But that was real close. And it's cool, you can see the detail on the boy's uh, red shirt. I mean, it's gone now, but just a couple seconds ago, you can see how it was a little dirty up to his navel. So that's cool. That's from the depth of water he was in, so that's kind of cool. It, it dried instantaneously, but it was there. So yeah, it's it's definitely uh, a 2.5D game. It's it's by Playdead. It's by the folks who made Limbo, which oddly enough I played <laughs> Inside first, and then I went back to play Limbo. And I loved Inside, but I liked Limbo better, or or rather I like Limbo's puzzles better, right? So I know that I, I was supposed to go. Uh, he's gonna shoot me. Oh wow! Passed out. Wow. I was supposed to go under that rock for cover, but, and I knew that, but I wanted to show to the viewer what would happen, 
so we'll replay it once again. As you can see, you can see the masks. They look really cool on those folks. Jump right here and just tuck right over. And there you go. See, they're searching for me. Let's, let's see what's here. Maybe there's something in here. Nothing. Alright. No sanctuary for this young boy. More water. Little puddle. They'll make me out. They will make me out. They have. And it's to the races. I've got to jump. Now, I don't know where that other guy went. That other guy just stopped running conveniently. There he is again. I'm going to trip here on purpose. And then they've got me. Yep. It's over for this young kid. But I did it on purpose so you can see a close-up of the antagonist or the adversary. You can check out those Court of Owl masks. They look really cool, I think. Some sort of secret society. Oh, I tripped again. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't paying attention there. I was looking at the guy's max. But they're hell-bent on silencing this boy and taking him somewhere. But with those headlights, of course they were going to make him out. A hop, skip, and a... There you go. Hop, skip, and a jump. See, this is weird. He just stops running all of a sudden. And now he's on to me again. That was weird. They're both on to me again. Looks like he's got a gun. They're starting, they're shooting. Yep. Oh, we got more dogs. Oh, I should have, I want to see a dog. It's, oh my god, it's so close. Whoa. There's something here. I gotta go up for air. You can see the boy's about to drown. We're gonna right back down. And I've played this game before. I don't know exactly where they're all located, but you'll find like these little, these little things. Oh, the boy died. That sucks. He drowned. Maybe if I can come from here, yeah. there'll be less of a swim underneath if I can just do it from here. There it is. Yep. Saved all that breath. There you go. Come up. And we'll see what's up there. Maybe I can use some momentum. Oh, it's barely standing. It's just on that one, that one still, that one support beam. Now, I have no idea what this is. It looks like something out of Star Wars. Or something out of 1960s Space Race, right? Jump down. Let's go underneath. There's a couple of these things, and you got a you got a secret ending, which I I personally haven't unlocked. I saw on YouTube, but I haven't unlocked myself. Now I'm they're still searching for me. You can you can see the uh, the flashlight. I'm gonna go underneath because otherwise I risk getting shot, right? And we don't want that. So well, uh, right? They're not searching like anymore. I'm I'm not scot free though. Quite a swim on his hands. I see some dead pigs. He's like, what is this? Now it's it's raining. This kid is soaked. 
And it's funny, I mean, the animations are so good, but this kid has no eyes, he's, a uh, he's barely got any ears, there's no face, he's got no facial features. Oh. And some corn stalks. You guys see that? A little check. Signs of things to come. Now it looks like we're in some sort of farm area. We got these chicks following us. Wow, that's a lot of dead swine. Something's going on with these pigs. We got these little chicks. I don't know, I, I'll be honest, I didn't think of it when I was playing, but now replaying it, you're like, that's kind of cool, right? You got, you got the screen, the screen just filled to the brim with these young chicks. They may represent life, I don't know. I don't want to be all hoity-toity, but just, you know, to be juxtaposed with these with these dead pigs, right? It's quite a sight. I don't know whether the, uh, the developers or the creative director intended that, but that's what I'm seeing right now. Alright, so we're gonna swing. Gotta open the door for these chicks. There you go. And it's very intuitive. The controls are very intuitive. I mean, y y you move left and right with uh, the left stick, and you jump with a with X, and uh, always your inter interaction button. Really, it's how you interface with the things in the world. So, I mean, the game never tells you what to do, but it's so intuitive. I mean, I I knew that I needed to press B on the door to get the the stopper off. Right, and in order to get it off, I knew I needed to press up. I, I don't know why. I just knew that's what I needed to do. So I'll press here. Well, can I do that now? I, oh no, I've got to. I got to pull the crank here. And there it is. So what I've got to do is, I've got to get these chicks sucked in. Can I do it? Can I do it? I've done it. <laughs> so the chicks were used to, to blow off that stack of hay by that blower there. And I'm shooting them right across the room now. And they're still coming to you. I'm shooting them across the room, as you can see, one by one. They're getting shot across. And they're coming right back. They've taken a liking to me, these little chicks have. Or the character, rather. Yeah, we're back in the outside world. And it's just so dour. I mean, it's just ugly. It's gray and unsettling. Yeah. Well, can I make that jump? I I better. That was quite a jump. And if you folks notice, there's something on these darn pigs. Look at that on the ground, writhing. Those are worms, folks. Worms, nasty little worms. So something has been infecting these pigs, maybe. I have no idea. Oh, we got more of them. There they are. These worms. I 
Now he's in some mud. And it's cool, you can see in his pants, right? Thigh high. They're dirty. Jump. Oh. Got more pigs with more worms. It looks like a tail, but it's not. They're worms. Oh, this one's live. He's gonna catch up to me? Yes, he is. I've gotta get him to break this door. And I have. And I've gotta get him to hit himself. Cause he won't stop until he hits me. It ain't gonna be pretty. There it is. Took the worm out of his body. I hope I'm not here for a while, because this puzzle, when I first played it back on Xbox, took me a while. It's good puzzles. Gotta get on this sucker and... This is some sort of contraption. I have no idea what this is. I control these these puppets. Oh. And I help lift. And together we can lift together. And now we're going to move this. And it's cool because you can see the boy is controlling them through this mind contraption. I have no idea what this is. And it's cool because look, I've, I've unplugged and they're at a resting position. And I plug back again and they're ready to do my bidding or the character's bidding. I press X, they jump. Uh, I can't interact just yet, but. But as you can see before, all four of them helped open the door when I pressed the interact button, which is uh, O. So this is some creepy shit here. Now I'm going to unplug again. And you can hear it too, the, 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 the score, or the music rather. The audio is amazing, look. Right, you hear that. Like you're in some sort of vacuum, I guess. It's very eerie. You have like this muffled noise in the background, and then once you unplug, you can hear it. It's like, Arr. there it is. And that tension just cuts off. It just dies down. You got that worm there, writhing still. Oh, that was quite a fall. I enjoyed it my first time. I really dug it. I thought it was a really cool game. It was really pretty. I, I'll be honest, if you ask me what I thought it meant or what the creators thought or what they were trying to tell me or the players, I'll tell you. I have no idea. I mean, I had some takeaways from it. And it was one of these games that when it came out, everyone was talking about. It was on Twitter, social media, and you really wanted to be part of the conversation on on, on gaming forums and you know IGN, at the time, Gaff, and things like that. Oh, wait a minute. We see a truck. And a line of folks. And some sort of... All of them with their heads down. Like in some sort of trance. That's not good. That's weird. How am I supposed to get up there? This is a puzzle I completely forgot about. Oh, wait a minute. If I can lower it enough, maybe I can climb it. Let's see. 
There you go. I'm pretty sure that boy can reach it. Of course he can. There it is. Look at the way he climbs. Very fit boy. Now let's get some momentum going. Boom. You got a window. See? This is great. So you go up, up. Uh, you go up against the window. And the, mo the boy just motions to push. Right? Look. And I press up on, on the left stick and he pushes up. This is great. I love it when game creators... Don't, oh, wait a minute. Another puzzle. I love it when game creators do that to players. Like, they trust you to figure it out. And don't spoon feed you the information. You know, they have, like, these little hints. I, I've always hated that. I, I've always thought it was condescending. It was either two things. It was either condescending or the developer didn't have enough faith in his own design to just say, I've made enough. I've made a good enough design. They're going to get what I'm trying to do, right? I, I always hated that. And I like inside for that because they're like, yeah, no, you're you're good, man. You know what you're doing. You'll be fine. So I've always liked that about inside and, and other games that trust their design and the player to do what's right. To not get stuck. And this is why developers play tests and things like that. Oh, I'm going to have to make that jump again. I, I jumped too much. And it controls. It's not floaty at all. It controls like a like a champ. It's great. Now, I'm gonna die here because I want to show you folks what happened the first time that I <laughs> did this. So that's what happened the first time that I. <laughs> Oops. No bueno. <laughs> so that's what happened the first time that I played. Uh, inside I for whatever reason I I just stood there and watched it fall and I, and I, and I died and you run back and there you go now I'm pretty sure if I fall through I'll die so I'll just take the stairs I love how you can hear the kid. He's sort of winded, right? Sort of <gasps> sighing a little bit. As you can folks see, we have another one of these these wires. This is a strong kid. I mean, look at that. I mean, that's like some relative to his age. He's like a little Hulk. Got another one of these little gizmos. I have no idea what they do. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at look at the shadows the kid makes. You jump. You jump. That's cool. I guess it's sort of nerdy, but... And it gets bigger. It's it's amazing. Look, it gets smaller as you get closer. And it gets bigger as you go further. Like a real shadow. I mean, they had to think about this. And some folks will play this game and never notice. And more power to them. Some folks will play this game and they won't ever notice th those little type of details. But it's those little type of details that... You know, that's the difference between making a game good and making a game great. I mean, narrative and, and gameplay and, you know, uh, are king. But, oh yeah, this is another one. This puzzle got me for a while. Darn it. And it's early on, too. So, I can't get up from here, so I'll have to jump. And hook myself up. There it is. So I've got to get these folks to step on this. How? I have no idea. I remember it took me a while. I don't remember how I did it. I remember that it took me a while. And I hope it doesn't take me as long as it took me last time. I mean, I was literally playing a guessing game. I said, please, just work. 
and I was trying to measure it, how many steps, and it just wasn't working until I finally got it. Oh, no, I'm not going to get it this time. We might be stuck here for a while, fellas. Boys and gals. Because I do not remember. Let's see, where is he? He's close. I can see his shadow. So hopefully... Yeah, there he is. They're out. Okay, good. I can close the door now. They're both out now. I've got it somehow. Oh, you see? <laughs> it's almost there. <laughs> it's just not quite. And there it is. Got it. it I'll, I'll be honest, it took me, I don't know, more than 20 minutes that first time. I just couldn't get it. I remember it for being a little frustrating. But I was able to do it, so that's good. I'm going to go up these stairs here. I don't know whether you guys can hear it, but you can hear... I've got headphones on, but I can hear faint steps. Like this little pitter-patter of steps. Sorry about that. I was just looking at my phone, but yes, you can hear it, right? It's a very, sh it's a very sharp staccato sound. And there they are. I mean, I knew they were there. I played the game before. I've got to make this jump, or because otherwise I will die. So you see, there's another line there. I'm gonna take the stairs and go down. It's following the line. And wait a minute. So you got these folks that look not unlike the folks that we saw by that tractor trailer, right? And they're all sort of like in some sort of trance, and this sort of confirms it. You got the car and the headlights. And then you got this one person just watching over them, sort of like a, like he's on assignment, like he's on shift. He's, it's his shift or her shift to watch over these folks. Assembly line, that's what I'm thinking about. And obviously I've played the game before, so there are things that I know about it that viewers who haven't played the game don't know. So I think that's three now. I'm pretty sure that's three that we've got. That's, an, that's another one of those tape recorder things. So something's being recorded, or was, and we got the, the big letter E, the neon sign E for... Average everyday gaming. It's a nice little plug there. Come on. We get into the rooftop and we got a little bit of a little bit of sun. But the majority of the world is in shade. That's cool, that's awesome. He just that little thing right there, he just... He looked back, make sure he was sturdy. Had enough purchase. Oh, you see? Did not expect that. That was awesome. See, that was awesome. I didn't expect that. At all. 
I think the first time I played it, I probably jumped over. I don't, through, I don't remember. I think this, I don't remember when this game came out. I think it was 2016. Almost positive it was 2016. We got these folks again. It looks sort of funny. There's something wrong with these folks. And those steps, the, the noise is just so unbearable. I mean, it's... Just... Again, I've played it before, so I know what to do here. But just, I've got to give kudos to the design of this game. I mean, when I first played it, I didn't know what I was doing because it was the first time I played it. But I knew that I needed to rip that apart. And I knew that it was simple as pressing O to interact and pulling away with the left stick. So we're underneath again. There's a rat. Oh, we got stairs. But can I pull the stairs? There it is. Pull the stairs. Now, I don't remember this much. But I remember that these little buggers are going to catch me. And if they catch me, I'm dead. But I'm sort of cheating. What I needed to do, what would have happened was, for, for those who haven't played it, they would have turned on this switch here. They would have got to the far end of the level. And they would have noticed that they would have had to turn back to shut the lights off to open the gate. Because they wouldn't have enough time to open the gate and not get caught by these things. And when you get caught by these things, this is what happens. They reel you in. So that's what happens when you get caught. Now I'm going to turn it off because I want to make sure that I opened the door to the elevator. And yeah, it's open, that's good. So the, the elevator door is open. So that's what would have happened the first time. You would have got there, you would have tried. It sort of kills the magic once you play it again because you know what you're. Oh, I got caught that time. Because you know what what to do, what you're doing, and I, I, part of the novelty is playing through it and not knowing what to do, right? That's what makes it fun, at least for me, the suspense. You get here, you get here, you get here, and then you're in the clear and you're good to go. And those machines look kind of cool. I mean, it's like some tripod-looking thing. Like, just the design of it. I've never seen it before. I wouldn't know where to place it. Like, maybe, like, an E.T. or something. Now, I'm pretty sure if I jump, it'll fall. Some bird shit, which you can probably slip on. Alright, so this one's, this one's much sturdier than before, because it won't give, so that's good. Oh. Oh. Nine seconds between you start and you stop. You gotta time it. These machines are on you because they clearly know you don't belong. gotta turn I remember 
that was such a pain to turn because I don't remember how to turn. Yeah, it's a trial and error. I try to jump uh, with X, but it's clearly not that. So we'll see what it is next time. I don't remember. I remember this being another one where I was pretty much stuck at for a while. Not 20 minutes, a while, but for a while. And it's so tense, the music is so tense. You see these folks, they're just looking at you, they're all staring at you. They got these quarter of owl masks on. You can see this baby with it, which is creepy as hell. I tried to make it out of the boundary, but I wasn't able to. So you've got to turn the left stick around. Sort of like a half crescent, or not a half crescent, but sort of like a crescent type shape. I fully knew that streaming this, there were going to be some sort of puzzles where I may get stuck. And for viewers, it may, it may be boring, but... with it. I was very lucky. I love how when you're going through those walls, the camera quickly pans because it knows that uh, the viewer, the player needs to view the character <laughs> in order to, in order to do whatever movie he needs to do. So that's really cool. You got these dogs in the background. They're gonna make me out. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be made pretty soon. And there it is, and I'm out of here. They know what time it is. So I waited too long. If I would have jumped sooner, he would have gotten to me quicker because he would have never gone down the ramp. Again, this is what sucks about playing the game already. So you really want him to get down the ramp. You get up there. So he's got to go up again because he can't jump. And then you're in the clear. Now you're controlling this one of these guys. See, and after a while, you lose sort of connection, if it were, right? The Bluetooth stops working. You can't push him any further, so... Oh, that's a girl. Yeah, you can look at her. She's a girl. Right. So this is awesome. I've always thought this was pretty cool. These puzzles are, are usually some of my favorites. So I'm stuck there. Clearly I've got to move this. Where? I have no idea. Well, there you go. But how am I getting up? How am I going to get up there? Oh, that's how I'm going to get up there. So I put it right here just enough so I can reach and then... See, I don't remember 
all of it. Oh, wasn't supposed to climb. They're very simple puzzles, but they're really fun. I if I don't remember, but I'm almost positive I beat this in a sitting. I won't be doing that tonight. But yeah, I think I beat it in a sitting on Xbox. I may be wrong. If I didn't, it was definitely two sittings. It's relatively short. I think it was twenty bucks when it when it came out. I I did not pay twenty dollars for it. Um, as a matter of fact, there were there was a oh yeah, Microsoft made a big boo boo. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, wait a minute. Let me do it here while I can. Actually. Microsoft made a big boo-boo, and they had Fallout 4 um, free on the uh, Windows 10 store. And I remember I, I ordered it on Xbox, and I got it. This was thanks to Wario, by the way, Wario 64. And I got it. When I totally wasn't supposed to, because it was a mistake, they weren't supposed to give it away for free. But they were. Now, watch this, this is really cool. So, I'll, so my guys attached to that mental control your mind gymnastic thing. Cerebro. We're going to call it Cerebro. We're going to be nerds so and call it Cerebro. We're going to reference the X-Men. So, I'm hooked. The player character is hooked up to Cerebro. Now, I'm going to hook up the puppet to Cerebro 2, and we've got this guy. <laughs> and the music is awesome. It's like, you hear that? It's sort of like enlight enlightenment. It's like it just cut off real quick, but it's back again. If I can unplug somehow. So there you go. Yeah, but going back to how I got the game, I, I was going to get it anyway. I'm by no means saying I, the game isn't worth $20. It, it certainly is. As a matter of fact, when it came out on PS4, I paid 20 bucks for it. Uh, and, and I was double dipping. But when it originally came out, um, a couple weeks ago or something, before... Um, Microsoft had made that mistake. Oh yeah, wait a minute. I've gotta, I've gotta get it in a position where I give myself enough time to jump through this thing. Unplug. The water sequences are awesome. Water sequences are just are amazing. All right, so let's move to something here. But yeah, uh, Microsoft uh, revoked the license for Fallout 4 for folks who downloaded it for free. But and they and they totally did not have to do this at all. They gave those folks who got it for free, who had their license revoked, a $10 credit on the store. And they they didn't have to do that at all. Right? Everybody knew that, you know, Fallout 4 isn't free. We were, we were, you know, we're well aware. There's something I'm not doing. Oh, I think there's like a crate or something. And when this game came out, I, I used that and I, I basically got it for 10 bucks. So for 10 bucks, I got a, I got a pretty sweet game. Oh yeah, I've got to pull this out. There it is. That pallet. Totally forgot. See, and it's... Very much not unlike Uncharted. You see these little... These visual tells, so you can see the handle, the red handle, which just sticks out like a sore thumb. And it's sort of ominous. You can see what's... What's underneath the water there. You see this cage on the right, on the bottom right. So yeah, I got the game for ten bucks. I, I, I think, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive I, I beat it in one sitting. I could always look at my achievements and, and check. And about last week's stream, I'm totally sorry. <laughs> uh, Tacoma's a great game. I love Tacoma. I didn't, I didn't know how hard it was going to be to stream it. Um, I thought I could just chat, but it's not really one of those games that you want to talk over. It's, it's so narrative-driven. But yeah, I screwed up that stream. Well, my connected. 
And I'm not I'm not really much of a streamer, but we're gonna rectify that here. But I totally uh, plan on going back to stream Tacoma. I don't know when. I don't have a set date on it yet. I'm focusing on inside. We'll do an hour, an hour uh, every Saturday until we complete the game. something oh there it is there's something yeah I mean to me narratively this game makes no sense this is me though for the water to go down. So I can unlock the door. There it is. So the game for me narratively made no fucking sense. At all. Whatsoever. I have no idea what they were trying to tell me. I don't I don't have any idea what the message was. I don't want to dump on the game. I feel like it got a lot of praise for being art like in one of these artsy video games and it's definitely an artsy video game and it, de it deserved the praise in terms of the visual art style the animation I'm, I won't knock it for that because it deserved it and again I don't want to knock Microsoft or Xbox but we all know you know when it comes to exclusive titles it's pretty slim pickings for Xbox now. It's been like that for a while. And at the time when this came out, it was... Initially, we thought it was going to be an Xbox exclusive, like for the long haul, like for a year. And I think less than three months, it released on PlayStation, which I wasn't bummed about. I got it on Xbox because I was like, you know what? I don't know when it's going to come out on PS4. I'm assuming it's going to be a year or six months plus. So I'm going to just get this thing now and play it and enjoy it. And be part of the conversation, and I'm glad I did. But for PS4 owners, it was it was great. It was great for them to be able to get it right away. There's something that I'm not doing here. There's something I gotta grab. There's something I'm not doing here. I don't remember. Oh! A duh! Sorry, guys. Sometimes I'm a little stupid. I'm supposed to... Oh, wait a minute. I've got to... I don't think I'll have enough time to do it. So I've got to go down... Shut this off. And before it goes down, stick here. Oh, I didn't do it. Alright, yeah, alright. Let me get there. Got it. Boom, there it is. And it's cool. I, I, I would do it again, but I'm not. But the animation, as, as soon as you, as soon as you press the button, the way the boy turns in the water to go the opposite way is so cool. Oh, that's right. I've got to drag. Oh, okay, I remember now. I've got to drag this huge briefcase out. I mean, it, this is a huge briefcase. I mean, it's bigger than the boy. That's how big it is. I'm going to leave it right here.
There it is. That's what I needed to do. It took me a while. The, uh, I'll be honest. I was looking for that thing, for that um, briefcase, but I thought I forgot that it was in the other room. I knew there was something. I knew there was a platform that I needed to get on. For sure. And now, wow! Now we have this train full of folks. Oh, it caught me. Yeah, I wasn't in the shadow. It just hung me up to dry. So this puzzle is actually pretty cool. You've actually got to move as soon as it, it... It'll show you. It'll. The indicator is really cool. fucked up. I actually pulled it, I actually put pulled it upward as opposed to pulling it towards me. I won't have enough time to get it in there enough. So this last one should do it for sure. I needed more time. And he broke his legs. He broke his legs and he banged the back of his head on the cement. I mean, that's just a horrible way to go. It's 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 kind of creepy because it's a young boy, but it would have been something else if you would have if you would have seen that that head splat, huh? All right, so. We're gonna we're gonna have to do a couple tries of this. No, no, I push it up again. Oh god damn it! Yeah, you can hear the frustration on the god damn it. I'll just take my time and get it over with. Cause sometimes in in, in your rush to get through it, you screw up, and that's when it gets frustrating. I gotta, I gotta, I, I, and I keep starting off on the wrong, on the wrong foot. I, I keep pushing upward instead of pushing downward. I'm gonna try to get it right this time. There it is. And I've made it. I'm not quite out of the woods yet. Get some momentum going. And there you go. I've got to open that. Get that train again. Got to open it. Get in, boy. There it is. That was close. And it's scripted. I mean, it's totally scripted. I mean, you can probably do that ten and ten out of ten times. It's gonna feel like you were almost caught, but it's just it's just the way it goes. And it works. It works just fine. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. It does what it's supposed to do. It's not organic, but it does what it's supposed to do in that it makes you feel tense. Now, if I were to drop down, I'd die again. And one of the things you, you'll notice about this game is that you're continually going under. You're continually going down. There's this descent, right? I, I, I'm not, you know, Mr. Smarty Pants, right? I pronounce Yale, Yale. <laughs> But, um, 
in, in I took an elective in, 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 in film class. I remember one of the professors, he would always say, when you have films in any medium, whenever you're you're going down, it can always be a metaphor for, for descent into hell or, you know, descent into madness or something. And that sort of creeps back up again here. And the dogs are going to notice me, obviously. Not yet, but they will. And it's cool how they notice you when you're out of sight. Right? So he's totally gonna get me. And the fucker jumps, which is the cool shit. The fucker actually jumps. I remember the first time I played, it totally caught me off guard. Well, the first time I played, I got killed trying to trying to run for it because I knew I didn't make it right. time they got me because I didn't make it. The second time I actually got in the water and I stood right there like na 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 and that fucker jumped and I was like oh okay that's nice I wasn't expecting that so that was really cool. Look at him look at him he's hyper he's hyperventilating it's so cool that kid is freaked out as fuck. I'm not a dad right but I'd never want my niece or my nephew to go through any of this shit. I mean, this is so fucking... So messed up. And I'm taking my time. I don't want to tempt fate and screw up and have to do it all over again. But I'm through. No! I wasn't looking. I totally was not looking. Oh, that, that wasn't on purpose. Alright, so I gotta, I gotta. I was looking that time. We're about to wrap up here. We got like two minutes left on the stream. I may go long. I may go maybe ten more minutes. We'll see. There it is. Alright. So that's contextual, so that's cool to know. There's not a button you press, it just happens automatically. I'm trying to find the right... A right moment or scene to leave it off. Oh, this is it! This is actually, this is it! We're gonna, we're gonna end it right here, actually. Yeah, this is one of my favorite parts of the game with the, with the, with this right here. They don't see me, so that's great. You're discussing something. But this is this is where we're gonna let off. And t tell me that's not cool. I'm gonna go underwater. I gotta give myself enough time to get up there before I die. So this is like a little submarine. And you, you descend with R2. I think, I think this is so cool. It was one of my favorite parts. When I first played this game, I was like completely just like, whoa, what is this? What are they doing? And it's got like this little mechanic. I, I won't spoil it. I'll leave it up for next week. Uh, this is this is a great uh, second stream, at least for me. Um, this is Gus here from uh, Average Everyday Gaming. I hope you folks really enjoyed the stream. Um, this is Inside by Playdead from the folks who made Limbo. We're definitely... Uh, I'm going to be on here next week on Saturday at 9 a.m., God willing, uh, to stream some more of this. No, but this is an awesome, this is an awesome way to, to say goodbye. 
All right, have a great one, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave any feedback. Uh, make sure to tweet at me at uh, goose underscore seven. Seven spelled S E seven E N. <laughs> so, yeah, just make sure to contact me there over at goose underscore seven. Um, contact uh, Average Everyday Gaming over at Average Gaming 17 on Twitter. Make sure to follow us on YouTube at Average Everyday Gaming, on Twitch, uh, at Average Everyday Gaming, and just, l just leave us feedback. I mean, if there's any games that you guys would like me to stream in particular, um, or any ideas to make sure the stream is better, just make sure to uh, tweet at us, contact us through Twitter. Uh, make sure to check out the podcast, Average Everyday Gaming podcast, every Tuesday at 7 a.m. Eastern Time. So yeah, have a great one, folks. Bye-bye.